Rakesh, today, uh, today a sports meeting is going on, and uh, I uh, I was on my toes going wanted to, wanting to go there, but then you have kept us interactive here, and uh, here also we were on our toes trying to interact with each other, and uh, it was a competitive spirit here as well. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Please be there. We will definitely uh, connect with you and uh, hopefully look forward to your uh, similar cooperation uh, in this session also. Yes, uh, Dr. Uh, Shiva Kumar, sir, thank you uh, for uh, dropping a response, sir. Thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, Praveena is there with us. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, Padmalata, uh, ma'am, is there with us uh, since morning. And uh, yes, uh, Dr. Swami had also uh, responded with a uh, yes. Uh, Dr. Professor Vijay Kumar, welcome to the session, sir. Good morning. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, if you want to share a little bit about yourself. We were discussing since morning about life skills and life's journey. So about ah, your yes, department, sir. about which department you represent. Very good morning, sir. I am Vijay Kumar Talwar, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Vijaypur, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, your interest in life, apart from academic research, any other interest you have? Uh, sir, uh, recently I am pursuing PhD, sir. Uh, last month only completed my course for in commerce. Very good, very good. All our good wishes uh, so that you can uh, successfully complete this, uh, this journey. So thank you. Please be there and hopefully we would love to connect with you. Thank you. That was uh, Professor Vijay Kumar. So I think, yes, uh, uh, the number is showing 19 now. And uh, if anybody wants to uh, maybe make use of this opportunity for maybe a couple of uh, minutes, you want to come forward, share a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'll be honored to listen to you about your interest in life uh, and a little bit about your department. You have shared already in the chat box. Uh, if you want to unmute. Yes, sir. Sir, myself, uh, Dr. Ganesh Alwande. Uh, I worked around uh, 14 to 15 years in a multinational company. So in a r and section. So later I joined the, the this uh, teaching profession. So now I completed uh, four years. Yes. In chemistry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think I was uh, sharing that uh, in the morning also. So your industry experience will add a lot of value in your uh, classroom interaction and mentoring. So that's uh, great uh, hearing about that. Yes, yes uh, definitely. Um, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ganesha, for sharing that once again. Sir, uh, I'm, and, uh, yes, sir, I'm welcome, ma'am. Uh, as Vijay Kumar said, no, uh, he is my colleague. And uh, in fact, he is my HOD. <laughs> so I'm working as assistant professor in the LDS AS Pali College of Commerce. And recently, I've been promoted as a controller of examination. Now, Golden Chess exams are going there here. But still, I'm interested to attain the sessions here. Morning 9 to 10, I used to take the classes. And from 10 onwards, I used to sit for the session here. So since from more than 15 years, I've been working in this BLD uh, group of institution here. So uh, very wonderful session, very interactive. Even in the online also, you are keeping uh, more active uh, to the participants. <laughs> very good okay. session. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's an honor to connect with you. And uh, I think uh, you are a leading example of, uh, yeah. of what we are going to talk about, work-life balance. Uh, you're attending classes, your commitment as a COE controller of examination, <laughs> and then uh, also maybe giving us uh, your valuable time here. So nice of you. Please be there. We will definitely connect with you. Thank you. That was Dr. Bharti. Thank, Thank you so much. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, yes, uh, anyone else? Uh, quickly, if we can just, uh, uh, then we will start. Uh, I think we have a substantial number, around uh, 20 odd uh, esteemed professors have uh, joined in. So we were discussing about, uh, I think, uh, the roles of uh, an academician. And uh, with the help of that role playing, we uh, thought of experiencing it rather than talking about it. And keeping that in mind, I think uh, the last slide that we show, I'll share once again. And if anybody, you have missed it, because this is uh, what we... Uh, so going for a break, uh, and I think the takeaways from that role playing was uh, uh, the three different uh, the roles that expected from you and me in 21st century. So the roles of an academician, as uh, uh, we saw, was uh, classified among many, but uh, broadly it can be categorized into three. And uh, as I said, uh, you have given me the indication since morning that uh, on all the three you score uh, 10 on 10, most of you, if not everybody, because uh, interpersonal skill, I think even just uh, last couple of minutes also, I think uh, it was nice to see uh, Dr. Bharti, uh, Dr. Ganesh, uh, everybody, Dr. Vijay Kumar coming forward, sharing about themselves. So that's uh, wonderful. We can uh, try and talk about interpersonal skill or role. Then comes uh, informational. Everybody, I think in 21st century, we have to uh, uh, balance a lot of information and process a lot of information. So that is one I think uh, we have experienced with that role playing. And finally, 
I think before going for the break, we thought of uh, passing our judgment, our decision. And then I asked you how confident you were in your decision, how many birds you saw. So that was uh, the uh, point we were uh, touching upon. So let's move forward. And I have a request for all of you. Uh, my question is in the chat box once again, and we'll make use of this option uh, very frequently and uh, move forward. So my next question is, uh, are we aware uh, about uh, this concept? Kindly just check if you have heard of this concept somewhere, fine. If you have not heard of this concept called Diksharam, please write a no. I think uh, then within the next couple of minutes, we will experience it. So have we heard of this concept called Diksharam? If you have heard of you write yes. If not, please write no, not sure. But I will expect quickly an answer from all of you in the chat box so that we can try and uh, take the session forward uh, in this uh, life skills and work-life balance. And I think the fastest response is coming from Dr. Ganesh followed by Dr. Padmalata uh, from, uh, yes, we have Dr. Suresha also responding. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Bharti ma'am had also mentioned uh, uh, this uh, concept. Uh, hopefully she would love to know a little bit about it. Thank you, Dr. Praveena from uh, Department of Canada. I think, uh, uh, yes, uh, we have uh, Dr. Shiva Kumar also responding. Thank you so much, sir, for your response. Uh, uh, Professor, I think uh, uh, Shankara Ma is uh, also responding, Doctor, uh, with uh, uh, yes, uh, that's great. Uh, I think uh, wonderful. Uh, anybody else, if you have heard of uh, this or even if you have not heard of it, please give your uh, response. Uh, I think Dr. Savita is saying no. Thank you. Uh, if we have Dr. Rekha's response also with, uh, I think, uh, uh, Dr. I think, uh, Vijay Kumar sir is there with us. Please uh, drop your responses because uh, uh, when we talk about this, UGC expects us to be aware about this concept. And why? Because uh, uh, we are in this uh, higher education system of the country. And I am sure even if we have not heard of this concept, but somehow we are uh, directly, indirectly connected with this uh, thought process of uh, UGC. So let's try and experience it. And I think uh, as we move along in this discussion, hopefully we will be aware about it in next couple of minutes time. So let's uh, try and move forward. And I think uh, uh, we saw the roles of an academician and now we are talking about this concept called Dikshara. Everybody is aware about this concept called Guru Dakshita because we are part of it now for the last few days. And uh, there are many more sessions uh, which are going to come your way for the next couple of uh, days and weeks. But UGC is talking about this Dikshara. And I think after looking at this, hopefully today you will come to aware about it, uh, which is uh, nothing but uh, the student induction program. So as academician, as uh, maybe uh, professors of this higher education setup of the country, I think uh, we need to try and be aware about this concept, which UGC expect uh, that all of us should be aware of. So this is called Diksharam, which is a student induction program. And what exactly the objective or purpose of Diksharam? So why we are supposed to know about it? Yes, I know many of you might be connected with it, but hopefully the terminology henceforth you will remember. And I think when we talk about Diksharam, what exactly the purpose of Diksharam, student induction program. The first one, if you see, uh, the objective or the purpose is to help uh, that new student uh, feel comfortable and also adjust uh, in the new environment. So after school, they are coming from different parts of the country, from different uh, socioeconomic background for their higher studies. And they are not just coming for higher studies, but believe me, why we started off with lives and dream today, because they are coming to chase and fulfill their dreams. They are coming with a lot of aspiration about uh, their hopes and all their parents, guardians, aspiration, as uh, I think we found out today in the morning also from um, professor also. So this is uh, uh, what we are talking about to so try and make them feel comfortable in the new environment. The second one, if you see, inculcate in them the ethos and culture of the institution. Har ek institution, universities ka apna apna culture hoga. And I hope uh, uh, we are supposed to try and show them the right direction to understand and embrace the culture. As I told you in the morning that I am part of St. Xavier's College, Kolkata, which happens to be a Jesuit institute. So there are a lot of, uh, uh, I think, uh, culture that we try and inculcate among us as well as we want to pass it to our students also. So similarly, in your respective universities and institute, uh, hopefully you will also try and... Uh, Somebody has uh, unmuted. Uh, may I request you to kindly mute yourself? Thank you. So uh, I think uh, we were talking about point number two, inculcating them the ethos and culture of the respective universities and institute. And I hope uh, you are going and doing it uh, very well. The point number three is a very important one. 
we have to give them the opportunity to build bonds with other students and also with faculty members and maybe uh, uh, along other uh, stakeholders of the uh, college or the universities. And uh, whatever little bit you have shared, I think uh, since morning, I have figured out that uh, a lot of students are really very lucky and honored to try and have mentors as uh, role models before them, people like you. And the last one, I think uh, we can have a, a little bit of a focus on this, which talks about uh, UGC is expecting us to try and uh, expose them uh, to a sense of larger purpose and self-exploration. So if students ko mauka dena chahiye, you have to give them the opportunity to try and explore a little bit of life. And I think not just about restrict themselves with the syllabus, with the subject, with the course, but uh, I think life is much bigger and uh, maybe beautiful than anything else. So we have to give them the opportunity to, for a little bit of self-exploration. So I will request all of you to kindly just, uh, yes, uh, if you can check the chat box once again and drop a response, please. Uh, kindly check the chat box and uh, give a response. I hope uh, uh, now we all are aware about the purpose of Diksharam also, what exactly is it and uh, why as academician we need to know about it. So quickly just give a, a response. Now we know about Diksharam, so that is my uh, request for all of you. Yes, uh, I think uh, you can drop a quick response uh, in the chat box. I can see Dr. Praveena, thank you, uh, Dr. Ganesh, for your response. Dr. Savita had responded. Uh, uh, it will be nice if we get to see uh, all other professors who are right now in this session to uh, give their quick response. Dr. Swami is there with us. We can see her. So Dr. Swami, uh, thank you, sir, for uh, being there all throughout. And uh, I hope you uh, pata tha about uh, Diksharam. And if not, uh, hopefully you came to know about it. So just uh, check the chat box and drop a response. That would be nice. Uh, yes, I can see all the responses coming. And uh, we talked about self-exploration. So... Uh, uh, my next question will be, are we uh, interested uh, for uh, another simple role play? This will be something simple and I think there will be no time constraint this time. So are we interested for another role play? So if you are interested, you can drop a yes. Uh, I'll give you six options in the next slide. Aapko kya karna hai? You have to rank those six options. Aapke paas che options aayenge. You are going to get six options on screen. And uh, you have to rank them from one to six, nothing else. And how, what will be the criteria for ranking based on their importance in your life? I repeat, you're going to seek six options in front of you and you have to rank them from one to six. The one which is the most important, you have to rank one. Then comes the next one. In that way, you have to rank all the six options. So that will be the role playing. We will expect you to try and please experience. And whenever you are with your students, you have some... Uh, time for doing a little bit of mentoring. I think you can try and experiment with your student also, these options. So here comes, I think, the answers in the chat box. And I can see, yes, uh, Professor Bharti is important. Uh, showing, yes, uh, interested. Dr. Uh, D'Souza uh, is showing interest. Uh, thank you. Uh, Dr. Uh, Padmalata had said, uh, yes, uh, Dr. Ganesh is there, uh, Dr. Rekha. So all of you, please watch out for the six options. And I think these are simple options which you can try and uh, uh, experiment with your students. You can ask them to try and rank these six options. So why not we do it ourselves first and then uh, try and think of doing it with our students because that will help you to understand how exactly is the thought process of our students. So here comes those six options and I will request all of you in the chat box, uh, just write all the six options in terms of their importance. Matlab, sabse jo important hai, you have to write number one, the name of that option. Then comes number two and the second option. So like this, you have to rank all the six options. I hope, uh, Professor Dr. Bharti, ma'am, is it clear to you? We got it, got it. Ma'am, yes. you are muted. Yes. yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I think, uh, so let's see those six options and I'll give you enough time to try and check all those options. So there'll be no time constraint. Professor Vijay Kumar, uh, I hope sir is also there to try and exercise uh, sir's thought process on that. Can you confirm, please, sir? If you are uh, able to see the slide with those six options I'm sharing. So kindly just check and tell me. Yes, I hope uh, Professor Vijay Kumar uh, sir is also there with us and hopefully able to see those uh, options uh, which is appearing before all of us. So these were the objectives or purpose of Diksharam. And the last one talks about giving a chance for self-exploration to our students. 
So let's try and figure out the options. And I think I'll also expect you to do a little bit of self-exploration. And uh, here comes those six options. Uh, sir, is it visible to you? Dr. Ganesh or maybe Professor Vijay Kumar? Yes. I think yes, sir, sir. Is, sir is confirming. So, sir, visible, sir. So what you are expected to do is please rank these six options. Keep uh, the most important option at number one, followed by the rest. So uh, one select a six the cup for ranking karana hai. So I read out the options for everybody. Uh, in a clockwise manner, it goes like this religion, then profession, then we talk about society, we talk about friends, we talk about family, and we talk about God. So uh, you are most welcome to try and see all the six options. I read out once again, religion, profession, society, friends, family, and God. So you are expected to do a ranking. The one which is the most important, please keep it at number one. Then comes the second uh, uh, option. Then comes the third. Is is up? Say please try and exercise your choice. I hope everybody is seeing those uh, uh, six options, and uh, you are most welcome to give your uh, responses in the uh, chat option. So I'll request you uh, in the chat box. Uh, so please uh, rank the options. So please rank the options. So what you saw, the six options, starting with uh, religion, we had God, we had family, we had a profession, we had uh, friends and society. So all the six options, uh, you're most welcome to do uh, a ranking. Uh, yes, uh, all are very important as Professor Dr. Shiva Kumar had said, I value all, absolutely true. And sir, in uh, maybe uh, in terms of importance, if you want to please do the ranking, that will be wonderful. Dr. Suresha has done it wonderfully well from uh, Department of Library and Information Science. Is this up to karna hai, the way ma'am has done it? So you have to write one, which option, two, which option, like this way. Yes, I think. Uh, uh, thank you so much for uh, sharing that. Dr. Suresha has mentioned family, her top priority, followed by, I think, uh, the rest. Uh, Professor Vijay Kumar had given uh, profession the top priority. Being the HOD, uh, it's understood. Sir is balancing it well. Thank you, sir. Uh, so comes uh, a profession ke baad God, uh, Professor Bharti, ma'am, uh, both are in the same organization and in the same team and the uh, thought process is almost uh, identical. <laughs> so ma'am had also given profession number one followed by God and then comes a little bit uh, uh, difference. Thank you. <laughs> so a uh, wonderful team you are having in your uh, in university institutes and also in the department. Dr. D'Souza, please mention other options also apart from family, which are the options. Uh, so please give those ranking also. Thank you. A lot of professional, hardcore professional out here in this session today. Dr. Savita had also mentioned profession number one. That's great. Followed by family and the rest. Uh, then comes uh, Professor Padmalata uh, talked about God as a top priority. Absolutely fine. It's your life. As you can see, among us also in this session, we are having uh, different priorities. With that, we have joined the FIP. Similarly, your students are also going to sit for your classes and attend your mentoring sessions, keeping this uh, in mind. Uh, thank you, Professor. I think uh, Savita for mentioning the options. It's profession followed by family and the rest. Uh, okay. We have Professor, I think, uh, Shurekha uh, dropping profession, God, and uh, maybe family in that order. Dr. Padmalata had mentioned also God, family, profession, friends. Okay. Professor Vidisha is also mentioning profession number one followed by family, friends. So as you can see, uh, everybody, uh, either we are mentioning our profession or family or God uh, uh, in the top three uh, list of priorities or importance when it comes. As of now, I haven't seen anybody mentioning friends or the society as uh, the top priority. But uh, when you uh, meet your students and do this, you might see a lot of students might also write about their friends being their top priority. Uh, that might also happen. So yeah. Dr. Ganesh, thank you uh, for dropping in. We can see Dr. Ganesh responding with the uh, family uh, and then comes, I think, uh, profession and the rest. Uh, so wonderful. Uh, and I think we have uh, Dr. Rekha also dropping about family. So either we are uh, keeping family number one, we are talking about our profession or some of us have mentioned about God being the top priority and from there the rest uh, follows. I think, yes, uh, Professor uh, Surekha, ma'am, how is the list for you? If you want to unmute and share, uh, how have you done the ranking? Sabse important konsa dala hai apne? Professor Shurekha is there with us. Uh, which one is the number one? We have Dr. Praveena also responding with the profession number one, followed by family and uh, the rest, I think. Uh, 
So when we look at this exercise, I think, uh, uh, yes, uh, profession is number one from Professor Shureka. Thank you. Followed by family, God, friends, uh, and uh, the rest. That's great. So I think this talks about uh, uh, the uh, self-exploration part, which we can do with our students. Mm -hmm. My follow-up question, uh, if we see in the chat box, uh, my next question is, we are talking about wow. Duksharam and all. Are we uh, aware uh, about uh, the concept? I repeat, the concept of, uh, it's not about uh, any publication house, but we are talking about a concept. Are we aware about this concept called uh, Sage? Agar apne sune honge, please write yes. Agar apne sune nahi honge about this concept of, of Sage, S-A-G-E. I am putting it in the chat box. You can write a no. That will be wonderful to get a quick response from all of you. I repeat, we are not talking about the publication house uh, Sage. We are not talking about that, but a uh, concept uh, which is called Sage, if you have heard of it, that's great. I think a lot of people are saying yes, no, maybe a it? mixed kind of a response we are getting. Yes, uh, uh, sir, Dr. Ganesh is saying, Dr. Ganesh is saying uh, no. Yes, uh, uh, thank you. I think uh, uh, we are getting a lot of professors to respond in the chat box. Uh, Dr. Swami is saying, yes, uh, sir, might have heard about this concept, Sage. That's great. Wonderful. And I think, uh, please drop your responses. Uh, uh, even if you are aware about it or not aware about it, you can always uh, drop your response. So, Professor Shuresh, uh, uh, Professor, uh, I think, yes, uh, D'Souza, if you can kindly tell us. Uh, you said, yes, sir. Uh, uh, sir, Sage means, uh, for me, it is like a sannyasi. Uh, yes. A person yes. of God. Absolutely. Yes. And I think uh, we talk about sage, matlab, they are very uh, divine and all. We talk about uh, maybe some kind of a, a disciple of God, a saint sort of a thing. If that is a concept, absolutely right. But uh, today we are talking about sage in a different context. And I think session, hey, it's about life skills and uh, maybe a little bit of work-life balance for all of us. So when we talk about work-life balance... Interest? Yes, yes, please. Go ahead, please. Uh, Professor yeah, according to me, uh, sage yes. is a wise person. Yeah, wise uh, professionalist. Yes, absolutely, wise absolutely. And uh, I think uh, we all have our own interpretation. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. The sage happens to be a wise person, as uh, Dr. Uh, Shankarma is saying. Thank you so much, ma'am, for uh, saying that. And I think uh, we were talking about Diksharam. So by now, everybody came to know it's uh, about student uh, induction program. And just like we have Guru Dakshita for all of us as faculty induction program. So this is connected with the uh, uh, student induction program and uh, Diksharam, this concept of SAGE. And uh, this is actually a terminology that I think UGC helps us to uh, connect with. So I'll share that with you. And hopefully in the next couple of minutes, we will come to know what exactly is it and uh, why as academician we should be connected with it. So here comes that slide. And I will expect uh, all of you to try and please uh, uh, stay connected. So let's see. What is this concept of a sage? And when we talk about it, you might uh, be connected with uh, this thought process and the activities which are involved in it. And after today, you'll remember the terminology also. So next time you are uh, going there, you'll be able to try and uh, uh, figure it out. So the first one talks about uh, socializing. So you just expect us that when a new student joins the higher education system, he or she needs to be given the opportunity to try and meet other new students, uh, even uh, try and get uh, used to lectures by eminent people. So they are, should be given the opportunity to socialize. And I think uh, that is the first component of the SAGE. The second component talks about associating. Associating means the students have joined the higher education system with a purpose, with a dream. So we need to try and give them the opportunity to try and uh, feel comfortable in the new environment. Try and give them the opportunity to come to know about different departments, different places inside the university or the college campuses. And then uh, uh, also about uh, important places uh, in the campus. And also if they are from outstation, they are coming from some different parts of the country or even from some rural areas. So we need to try and give them the opportunity to try and uh, come to terms with different important places in the city. So that talks about associating. And uh, next comes the third component of SAGE, which talks about G. G se hota hai governing. Governing matlab har ek university, institution, colleges mein apna apna rules, regulations honge. 
and I hope and I believe that uh, in your respective uh, uh, institute, colleges, universities, uh, hopefully you also help uh, students to understand those guidelines. Uh, what are the uh, uh, things which are permitted? What are the things which are not acceptable in that particular university or academic institute? So that is talking about rules and regulation as well as what kind of student support uh, are available in the form of some kind of a mental uh, aspect issues of our student, not just uh, academic related affair. So I hope uh, uh, you all happen to be uh, connected with some sort of a mentoring also in your respective uh, universities and colleges directly, indirectly. So and I hope uh, after looking at today's session, you will understand the role of academician. So we play a diverse role. And here comes this concept of uh, Diksharam and what exactly the purpose and how we are uh, connected or going to be connected with it. And uh, as per the NEP, the National Education Policy, we are supposed to try and all get involved in this. So this is uh, the last part of it, which talks about experiencing. The students should experience different kind of lectures. Uh, also, they should get opportunity for some kind of a small group activities. And I am sure that aap apne, uh, sessions mein zarur unko ye mauka dete honge. you give them the opportunity to try and uh, get involved in some kind of a group activities. And also in different places, as Sir was saying, Sir was also uh, coordinating, heading the uh, sports uh, activities and all. Matlab, a lot of physical activities and creative activities are also very important in today's context. So this is uh, the concept that we are tossing up and uh, we need to give them the opportunity uh, to try and embrace uh, subse jo important uh, universal human values. Irrespective of the courses, uh, uh, institute or the universities, what is important is our students are supposed to be good human beings. And I think uh, I'm really happy to see that they have the right role model in uh, you in front of them in their respective uh, universities and colleges. So on that note, I will expect all of you once again to go back to the chat option and please try and let me know if uh, the concept of a uh, sage is uh, clear for all of you. So I think uh, uh, the concept of sage, if uh, uh, the concept uh, of uh, uh, sage, uh, I will uh, uh, drop that uh, is uh, known now, if it is uh, clear to all of you. So I hope uh, because we are connected with it and uh, this concept of student induction program, mentoring and all these are what uh, FIPs are all about. So I will expect, yes, I can see a lot of uh, professors quickly dropping. Uh, yes, uh, when it comes to uh, the uh, slide on a little bit of, uh, are we aware about the concept of SAGE? Uh, yes, uh, and I think uh, the next slide will request you for another uh, kind of uh, experience. A lot of professors are vastly experienced here in the session. So I will request you about this uh, once again, which will hopefully be a positive answer from all of you. So here comes that question. So I'll request you uh, for a quick response. Uh, kindly just... Uh, uh, check please uh, and i hope uh, i will put up the slide and then uh, request you for your quick response so i hope uh, this slide is very familiar to all of you because uh, i think uh, if not everybody many of us might have uh, gone through uh, this uh, during the last couple of years and then we are happy to be back in the offline environment and i hope uh, these are uh, things which we were not prepared just a couple of years back uh, in 2020 uh, suddenly all the benches the chairs in our classroom went back in and uh, we had to uh, embrace the uh, technology and hopefully just like the one which we are using today there were many more like ms team we had to embrace uh, google meet or uh, uh, webex and many other uh, platform but uh, i think it's now good news that everywhere more or less uh, in our classrooms we are getting full house so my uh, next uh, question will be uh, in the chat box for all of you. So we are now getting into our online teaching and uh, uh, how exactly uh, was it and uh, what kind of work-life balance we were having that point of time because the session is about work-life balance and all. So we were habituated uh, coming to our place of work, our university department or maybe colleges and all. And suddenly I think uh, uh, it got a little bit sifted. So let me see uh, what exactly uh, uh, were the challenges we faced. If you can just quickly uh, Mention it in brief. Don't explain it, please. Uh, just points or you can unmute and share. Apko kya challenges face karna pada during your online uh, classes? If you had taken online sessions uh, in your university, institute, colleges, uh, 
So what exactly uh, uh, were or was the challenges uh, that you encountered? So my question is, what were the challenges faced in our online classes? Just briefly, if you want to share, you are most welcome to unmute and share also, or else you can drop it in the chat box. Uh, just points will do. Jo aapko lagta hai, you can just quickly uh, drop it because from there we will uh, move forward and uh, go to the next portion of our discussion. So yes, uh, anybody willing to drop any responses or you can unmute and share, please, if you have something to share. Professor Vijay Kumar, sir, if you are free, uh, any challenges or oh, you have already given? Hopefully you will not be uh, doing the same today. Yes, Bolia, sir, your point. Yes, sir, many, many students kya karte na, sir, wo, ma, mic ko band karke video ma, stop karke bahar jate te, sir. Wo dusri kaam mein lag jate te, jaisa mujhe, maine jo shubha wa, kiya tha wa, aise karte te, kuch log. Achha, achha. Wonderful. I think sir has mentioned that in the chat box for everybody, many students were muted uh, and they went uh, uh, maybe uh, away from the uh, classes. So that was one and... Uh, uh, yes, uh, Professor uh, Suresha, Dr. Suresha has said uh, connecting with the student was a, a challenge. Yes, so that's true. Lack of interaction from student, Dr. Padmalatha. I hope uh, she is not giving me that complaint today. She is absolutely throughout the session interacting and sharing her thoughts. Uh, wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Uh, uh, Padmalatha for uh, putting in your points. Uh, Dr. Swami had said uh, lack of motivation in students. And I think, uh, yes, that's a, a honest uh, uh, feedback that is coming from uh, Dr. Swami. I hope, sir, uh, there is no lack of motivation in you because uh, I know you are balancing a lot of things, your professional commitment as well as attending the session and uh, hopefully also some personal uh, commitment. Uh, so that was the response from Dr. Swami. Thank you, uh, Professor. The other side, flip of the other side is like many people struggle to buy a mobile. True, true. Absolutely, Dr. Nagesh, I agree. Absolutely. Because too, they wanted to learn so many things, but they were unable to use it because they did not have a mobile where uh, that made, uh, you know, to show or uh, to think about venture into the, the new reality of the, the people, how they were struggling about. So where they were ready to, you know, attend the classes, but they were not able to have a mobile where the instrumental in, you know, disseminating the knowledge was uh, difficult. Apart from the, the technological difficulties, network issues and other stuff and everything. True. Very true. Very true. Societal, so social factor was the, the major hurdle. Uh, where we, we could uh, able to identify during that time. Sir. Absolutely true, sir. And I think uh, uh, there are a lot of factors which were beyond our control and also maybe one or two factors which were in our hand. And I think what uh, Dr. Nagesh is saying true because uh, device uh, gadget related issues might have also been one of the challenges which uh, stopped them even they are interested. So that's a very true point we came across. Dr. I think D'Souza uh, is saying yes, uh, uh, starting on time and maybe network issues. Uh, that is one, uh, I think what Sir has mentioned, we all might have encountered that lack of interaction, Dr. Ganesh, and I hope I'm really honored that uh, Sir has not given me any complaint, things to complain about. Sir has been interacting all throughout and it was lovely knowing Sir with his vast experience in the industry and then joining the academics. Thank you so much, Dr. Ganesh for that. And I think Dr. Praveena have mentioned rural area network, uh, yes, power problem, absolutely true. So a lot of things, as I said, was, uh, beyond this so when we talk about this slowly we were moving forward and uh, my next follow-up question will be uh i think uh, uh, dr suresha had given a lot of points and i think uh, all the points are well taken emotional bonding with students uh shy the knee hopara that's true lack of gadgets uh, awareness about students yes uh, and then we talk about uh, lack of uh, content uh, demonstration so that was uh, another one all the points are very well accepted uh, thank you uh Dr. Suresha for sharing those wonderful points of yours. So my next question is, uh, uh, if you can kindly check, and I know there will be diversity in this answer, but uh, what is uh, the class size uh, we normally So when we talk about what is the class size, I mean, in terms of students, uh, so approximately give a number in one section, how many students in offline session you normally had to interact with. So it can vary depending on what kind of course and maybe what kind of institute you are connected with or universities. But uh, what is the class size uh, we normally take uh, for one session? So can you just put a number, please, with your department? That will be nice. Uh, I think, yes, uh, 20, Dr. Uh, Shankrama from PG level. Yes, uh, 
if you can kindly drop that with your department uh, 25 uh, oh, thank, thank you, you. Uh, yes uh, i think uh, we are getting dr nagesh also responding please drop your responses uh, and I know I don't want exact, but I think approx number will do. More or less, what is the class size we normally address? Yes, uh, 30, that is uh, from uh, uh, Professor Savita. Thank you. Uh, around 130 from Dr. Vijay Kumar. Thank you, uh, Dr. Mansa, 6200 for microbiology. Uh, Dr. Pravina is having around uh, 20 to 25. It makes it very uh, interesting when we have... Uh, a small kind of a size, we can try and do an experiment with a lot of things. And if it is the large class, then we have to slowly uh, try and get used to it uh, as we are getting a number more than 100 from Dr. Rekha. Thank you. In economics, we are having around uh, maybe in the range of 20, 80 to 100 in biochemistry. UG chemistry, we are having around 25. Uh, wonderful. So I think that the range uh, tells us the diversity of the professors and uh, how they try and uh, uh, balance their all those three roles of uh, interpersonal, informational, and little bit of decision. So these are wonderful things because it talks about a lot of activities that we are supposed to do in the form of uh, teaching, learning, evaluation, and other things. So I think research also. Yes, Professor uh, Basavaraj, thank you uh, from economics uh, over 100. So that is what uh, the indication coming from, sir. Thank you, Dr. Shiva Kumar is from education with around a range of 30, 35 students. So as we move along, and I think uh, slowly but steadily, we have uh, come to a situation where we will uh, talk about Subha uh, Seleke Avitak, we were talking about uh, life's journey. And I think uh, uh, when we look at this particular slide, you will understand. And I think uh, uh, before we proceed there, I will uh, request you, are we uh, still motivated i don't know whether we are still motivated uh, for the last role play of the day the last role play i am saying the last role play to give you an indication so let's see uh, are we still interested for the last role play so my question is are we uh, interested uh, for the last round of role play last uh, role play of the day so i think kindly just uh, drop in for today so let's see uh if you are still interested for the last round of role play why because slowly from there we will get into the uh last part of our discussion and i think uh when we talk about it uh, so what we are supposed to do let me see how many people are still interested uh to try and uh, a little bit uh take part in this uh, last role play of the day so the fastest response coming from uh, professor disuza kya karna hai agar aap, uh, you are supposed to guess. We are going to give you some clues and we are going to give you some clues and who is this famous personality. So I'll give you one clue after the other and uh, I'll expect you to guess about someone who happens to be a familiar uh, name. So this is what we expect you. And uh, don't worry. After every clue, you can try and change your mind and you can change your answer. Say, for example, after looking at the first clue, you take somebody's name. And when you present the second clue, aapko lagta hai ki, no, uh, I have taken a wrong name. So please, you can change your answer. You can write another person's name. So that is how we are going to proceed. I hope it is clear. Uh, if anybody has any doubt, you can tell me. Dr. Shuresha, I hope it's clear, sir. How we are going to play the game, if you can unmute and confirm. Is the brief clear? We are supposed to identify a famous personality, especially from the world of sports. And I think uh, uh, you can keep on guessing and giving your options. So that is how we are going to play. Dr. Uh, D'Souza, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Clear, sir. So uh, you have all the benefits. There will be no negative marking. You can change your answer multiple times. But I humbly request you that you answer to give an answer. Suppose after looking mm, at the first two. about it. Yeah, I'll help you, sir. Uh, my question is, uh, I'll give you a clue about somebody. So one after the other. So on every clue, you have to take a guess. Who is this famous personality? So that is the game we were going to play. And I think, suppose I give you the first clue. And uh, if you see that you are not able to make out who is he or she, so you have to write number one, no. After that, I'll present the second clue. On that clue, agar aapko pata chalta hai ki ye kon hai, you have to write uh, who he or she, the name only. And you can change your answer. By the time you see the third clue, agar aapko lagta hai ki you want to change your answer, you are most welcome. So that is how we are going to proceed. Is it clear? I hope uh, uh, you got my brief. Repeat so, it, sir, once again. 
Canada. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Nagesh, uh, I think we are expecting to identify someone who is a famous sports personality. So the question is, how are we going to identify? Neither I'm going to show you the picture, nor I'm going to show his or her name, but I'm going to give some clue about that person. So there will be four or five clues. So after every clue, you have to try and make use of the chat option and you have to write uh, who is he or she, according to you. Suppose you don't get it in the first clue, you write one and write no. Then I'll present the second clue. On that clue, if you can get it, you can write the name or else again, you can write no, I am not sure. So I will answer I'll give you all the four or five clues. I hope it's clear. Can we get uh, the participants to write yes, a yes, yes if you are clear. interested? Clear. If you are interested in the role playing, thank you. Uh, please drop a yes in the chat box. My question will be to identify who am I? So that is the question. I'll give you some clue about this person. And uh, who am I? So we have to identify this famous sports personality. So uh, can you just uh, uh, show your interest by writing a yes? Then we will start the game. How many of us are interested in playing this role playing? So I can see Dr. Padmalata. I can see Dr. Mansa. Thank you. Dr. Uh, D'Souza is there. Uh, Dr. Shiva is there. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Bashavaraj. And uh, I think uh, we have uh, Dr. Rekha also responding. Thank you. Just keep a guess. And I think there is no negative marking, no wrong answer. Aap, aap answer badal sakte after every clue. So let's see. But please give answer after every clue. You can write no if you are not sure or you can give any name which comes to your mind. So let's see. So I think uh, uh, who am I is my question and uh, I'll give you one clue after the other. Wait for the clues to appear. Here comes uh, the clues for all of you. I'll share the screen with you and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see the clues one after the other. So let's see uh, if it is coming. So life is a journey and I hope that uh, slide is visible. Dr. Zitsuza. Can you see the life is a journey, that slide? Yes, sir, it is visible, sir. So why not let's travel it together? And since morning, we were exploring life and a little bit about life skills for you and me. So you can say, let's travel it. And we will talk about somebody's journey today. And many of us, hopefully, we are aware about uh, this famous uh, personality. So she actually is from the world of sports. And uh, uh, just a hint for all of you. So here comes the first clue. Aapko jo karna hai, aapko... So that is what we will expect from all of you. So I'm saying what a journey. So all of you, please pay attention. And if you are interested, please uh, give an answer after every clue. So the first clue, and it's a very harmless clue. And uh, once it comes before you, you try and uh, look at it and uh, you put a message in the chat box. You write number one and uh, either you write uh, a name that comes to your mind or you can just... Uh, say no by writing number one. So the first clue goes like this. We are talking about a sports personality who was a national level volleyball player. So if any name comes, you write number one and any name which comes to your mind or else you write number one and write no or I can't guess. But please give your responses. That will make the game interesting. So I'll give you 10 seconds to uh, think about it and uh, drop your response. So number one, two pay agar, if you are taking any name, please write it in the chat box or else you simply write one and no, because that will do. I think everybody saw it at least uh, for 10 seconds. And uh, so can we go for the second clue? Yes, uh, Dr. Nagesh is uh, giving me the indication. We would love to look for the second clue. So let's uh, move on. And uh, I think uh, we go for the second clue. So this... Uh, a young national level volleyball player, you see she was uh, traveling from Lucknow to Delhi on 11th of April, 2011. So this is the second clue. So we are talking about uh, some uh, national level volleyball player and uh, she was traveling from Lucknow to Delhi uh, by train on uh, 11th of April, 2011. I'd say almost uh, So second clue, pay, if you want to take any name, you can give it or else you can write two and write no. But can't guess. So you can write that in the chat box. But please, de te rahi hai, because I'll come back and check the chat option. And it will be nice to see that uh, those who said, yes, we are playing. And uh, I think the game is important, not about winning and losing. Participation is important. So we saw the second clue, Professor D'Souza. We go to the third one, sir. Yes, sir. So we move on to the third clue. So I think now it will become a little more uh, uh, informative for all of you. So here comes uh, the third clue for you. A tragedy struck as she was traveling by train from Lucknow to Delhi 
she was thrown out of train uh, by robbers when she resisted them. So I think touch uh, kisi ke saath na ho. It doesn't happen with any of us, but uh, this actually uh, happened uh, to this young national level volleyball player. So she was thrown out of train by robbers when uh, she resisted them. So please, uh, clue number three, you write number three and if any name comes to your mind, you can write or else you can write three and write no. No guess. So we will move on to the next clue. Dr. Shivkumar answered it. Achha, theke, let uh, that answer be there silently. Don't disclose it. Uh, but aap apna answer dete rahi. So whoever wants, I think, please take part. Don't think that uh, whatever the answer that will be the right or wrong. Aap apna answer dete rahi, please. And I think then maza aega. So yes, uh, we go uh, to the next clue. Clue number four. Because of this tragedy and no fault of hers, you see what happened. Her, her, her leg uh, uh, was amputated below the knee and uh, there were two rods in the other leg. So I think uh, uh, when we talk about this, we were talking about dreams today in the morning. We were talking about success and failure. We were talking about uh, life's journey since morning. And I think you see the dream of this uh, national level volleyball player got shattered because of this tragedy, this accident. And then uh, her leg was amputated and there were two rods inserted in the other leg. So that's why I say touch wood kisi ke saath na ho. But uh, this is clue number four. If you want to take any name, you're most welcome. Nahi to, you can just write four and uh, say no answer or maybe no uh, guess. So, she is so, ma, so uh, we move on. Uh, we move on to the next one. My question is uh, the next one. Agar aap, uh, unke jaga hote, if you had been in uh, her place, what is that you would have thought of or dreamt of at that moment? Because she was determined to achieve something in life. Mira, hai, so I think, yes, uh, she was determined to achieve something in life. And I know uh, that many of you might have heard about this life-changing and real-life uh, motivational uh, uh, story. And I think this uh, young sports person, as many of you have identified, uh, hopefully correctly, I will check the chat option, decided to climb Mount Everest. And was that easy? I asked you, is there any shortcut to success today in the morning? You only told me no. As academician, we believe there were no shortcut to success. And I think on 21st of May 2013, she became the first female amputee to climb Mount Everest. And was it easy? No. It took her 52 days of tough climbing. And I think uh, uh, everything, whatever we are seeing in front of us today is really an inspiration for one and all. And I know many of you got the name right and you know about this uh, real life story also. But I think uh, uh, because of this wonderful uh, achievement of hers, she was uh, eventually awarded Padma Shri in 2015. And I know many of you got it right and uh, we can just uh, uh, clap for her and salute her. She is none other than Arunima Sinha the first female amputee to climb Mount Everest. So I will definitely clap for her and I'll request if you can uh, just uh, click the hand raise option and uh, salute her because uh, she is truly an inspiration for one and all. And uh, she had been invited in many a places to try and share her uh, journey. And we were talking about life skills. We were talking about stress. We are talking about work-life balance and things like that since morning. And what better inspiration than... Uh, Arunima Sina. So if you can kindly raise your hands and genuine appreciation can be shown towards her because that will be wonderful because many of you I know you got it right and you deserve our appreciation also. So when we talk about this, this is that famous moment when she was uh, receiving the award for her wonderful achievement and I think uh, from the hands of the then Honorable President Sri Pranob Mukherjee. So this is uh, Arunima Sinaji receiving the Padma Shri Award in 2015. Uh, by the Honorable President at that point of time, Sri Pranob Mukherjee. So as expected, I can see, yes, a lot of professors getting it absolutely right. And uh, I think uh, uh, when we talk about this, uh, let's go and check in the chat box. And I know the chat box is flooded with messages. And uh, I can see, yes, uh, uh, when we talk about it, uh, clue number one, everybody played well. Uh, clue number uh, I think Dr. Shiva Kumar, sir, deserve our appreciation. Thank you, sir. Uh, I think wonderful. I'm clapping for you and hopefully all the professors will appreciate that. Hopefully, sir, has figured it out like uh, uh, in clue number two or three. And then I think good guesses coming from, I think, a lot of other professors who are trying to guess at that point of time. Dr. Nagesh was trying to guess uh, and I think... Uh, uh, yes, uh, Dr. Shiva Kumar confirming that you answered it. We appreciate that. Uh, Dr. Vijay Kumar also got it. But which clue? I hope it will be clue number three for Dr. Vijay Kumar. We appreciate that, sir. 
if you can confirm you sir, was it sir. free very well done sir and i think uh, uh, these are things what we need to uh, uh, connect with a uh, lot of professors have taken the name uh, i think uh, Yes, Dr. Shuresha had also given, I think it was clue number four uh, or three, uh, Dr. Shuresha, if you can confirm, because uh, I think I can see the answer there. It's uh, absolutely correct. Dr. Uh, Vijay Kumar, Dr. Shuresha, everybody has given the answer. It's not about getting it right or wrong, but I think we know the story Dr. Padmalata said about that, but unable to recall the name. Dr. Shiva got it right. I think Dr. Manisha got it right in uh, hopefully clue number four, if not uh, maybe clue number three. Dr. Uh, Shankarama had also got it right in clue number three. I think uh, Dr. Shiva Kumar also mentioned that, yes, he managed to do the summit of Mount Everest and absolutely right, uh, everybody. So I think wonderful, the appreciation and the genuine uh, uh, respect uh, for uh, each, us, uh, each one of us out here in the session. That is wonderful. So let's move on. And I think with this role play, we come to the uh, ultimate portion of our session, first uh, session today. And we were actually talking about life skills. So instead of uh, talking about it, we thought of experiencing it. And I hope the next slide will talk about what exactly life skills are all about. And here comes uh, that for all of you. And hopefully everybody played so well. And I think from that uh, role playing, we will uh, connect with what exactly life skills is all about. And I think uh, it will be wonderful for all of us to take note of these three dimensions of life skills. Since morning, we were actually talking about and experiencing all this. Number one talks about uh, thinking skill. It talks about a little bit of uh, problem solving and decision making. So Subha say, Abhi tak, I think we have solved a lot of problems, very simple problems like uh, watching a picture and then uh, identifying what all were hidden there and how many birds we have identified. So that talks about problem solving and a little bit of uh, decision making skills and uh, creative thinking. The second dimension of life skills talks about social skills. I request you, thank you, uh, kindly mute yourself. Somebody has unmuted. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Professor. Please mute yourself. Thank you. So we talk about the second dimension of life skills, which talks about social skills. And what better way than maybe you have uh, demonstrated that throughout the session. You have shown wonderful interpersonal relationship, the way you have interacted, the way you have communicated, the way you have uh, participated. Talks about effective communication and interpersonal relationship. And when we look at the third one, which talks about emotional skills, and I think each one of you, hopefully you are an expert in managing emotions and all, and what better case study than uh, Arunima Sinaji, how she dealt with that a little bit of uh, a tragedy that struck her life and her dreams got totally shattered because of no fault of hers. But eventually she had the personality, she had the attitude, she had the motivation to try and think about another dream and then eventually translate it into reality. So it talks about the thought process which came from none other than in the morning we saw our honorable late president, uh, uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, which says uh, dreams not what we see in sleep. So Arunima Sinaji maybe SI kuch dekha tha, which didn't let her to sleep. And with uh, around 52 days of tough climbing, she eventually did uh, the summit as the first, uh, uh, I think, female amputee to climb Mount Everest. So that talks about uh, emotional skill, managing emotion and dealing with stress. Kabi kabi students aate rehte honge hamare paas, aapke paas uh, with a lot of concern and uh, problems of life. So I think uh, hopefully we might be reminding them and telling them what exactly is the right way of uh, uh, dealing with those uh, little, little problems of life. And I think this talks about the third dimension, which talks about managing emotion and showing genuine empathy. We are not here to show sympathy to someone, but we can feel for that person and we can try and have a little bit of uh, empathy. So I hope... Uh, the three dimensions of life skills that we saw just now are clear. So that is the talking point today. So uh, I'll request you, uh, please uh, check the chat box and uh, kindly respond. If you got the three dimension of life skill, and I think irrespective of our department, our place of work, our designation, and whichever geographic context we are representing, but UGC is expecting that we should be knowing about this also and inculcating our students. So check the chat box, please. If the a concept of life is clear, you can just uh, quickly drop a response in the chat box. That will be a nice way of uh, getting a feedback from all of you. So that will uh, give me a little bit of a, a, a feedback that yes, uh, we are getting a response from all of us. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Shiva Kumar. We are having uh, Dr. Sachin. We are having uh, Dr. Rekha responding. Uh, Dr. Padmalata, instead of talking about it and concept and theories, 
I thought of maybe experiencing it during this session with the real life examples, case studies and role playing. So that is what uh, life skills is all about. And I think uh, uh, World Health Organization, they talk about uh, five different dimensions of life skills. So I'll show you that and then uh, hand it over to all of you for uh, your uh, observation, comments, questions, if any, connected with the uh, session today. So give me another two more minutes and I'll uh, wrap it up uh, with uh, that kind of a thought process. So here comes uh, the five dimensions of life skills uh, coming from uh, World Health Organization. And I think uh, that is what uh, we all are supposed to remember. And hopefully we all know about it and we'll pass it to our students also. So here comes uh, that particular slide, uh, which talks about uh, the five dimensions of life skills coming from World Health Organization. Who, So I hope uh, after looking at this, you will understand. The first one, we have experienced it. So whose Department of Mental Health have identified five basic areas of life skills uh, that are relevant across culture. Why I say across culture? Because uh, as I said, uh, students might come from different uh, socioeconomic background, cultural background. So it will be relevant for all of them. The first one talks about a little bit of uh, a decision making and problem solving. So we have experienced that enough today in the session. The second dimension talks about creative thinking. So I think uh, uh, we all have shown a little bit of uh, uh, creativity, the way we have tried to look at uh, what were hidden in that picture. Only the face somebody saw, or maybe a combination of the face, the horses, and even some birds also, whatever number we saw. The third one talks about communication and interpersonal skill. Though we have been interacting in the new normal in this online platform, I never thought maybe for a single moment that I was left out. You all have given me good company since morning and I'm really, really enjoying your company and I'm the most enriched person. By the time it's almost one o'clock, I'll be the most enriched person collectively uh, hearing and uh, noting, knowing from all of your experience sharing and also that talks about communication and interpersonal skill. Then talks about a little bit of self-awareness and empathy. And we have shown genuine empathy towards each other and towards Arunima Sinaji. We were not showing any sympathy for her, but uh, we can understand and try to feel for her. And the last one is talking about coping with emotion and uh, dealing with stress. So everybody who is here today, I know you are balancing a lot of things, your professional commitment, your research, your maybe a little bit of personal life, but still uh, you are uh, giving enough to this FIP in form of your attention and also your little bit of experience sharing. So that talks about uh, the five dimensions of life skills. And when we talk about uh, the last portion, I think uh, I need not uh, talk on it because uh, you all have uh, proved that you are having excellent uh, work-life balance the way you have been uh, with me all throughout the session. So I'll just uh, put up the last slide and then uh, take you uh, for a quick kind of a uh, thing. So when we talk about work-life balance, I think we all know what it is and how we are supposed to achieve it. But our students might require some direction, some guidance. So I think, uh, yes, uh, we will talk about... Dr. Shiva, thank you. Uh, kindly mute yourself. Thank you so much, Dr. Shiva. Uh, please uh, mute yourself. Thank you. That was uh, uh, the concept of life skills. And here comes the last slide, I think, which talks about work-life balance. And I think each one of us will know about all this because it talks about how we juggle between a uh, little bit of our uh, expectation from family, from friends, and subsidy important hey, expectation from ourselves, our own self. And I think that's why we do that uh, little bit of uh, self-exploration. We have figured out about our priorities in life, which are the top most priority in our life out of those six options. And I saw many of you talked about your professional commitment. You talked about your family. You talked about a little bit of God and maybe one or two more things in the top three priority list. So that is what uh, talks about work-life balance, how we try and juggle a little bit of workplace stress, if any, and uh, deal with the daily pressure and expectations of family, friends, and ourselves. Because modern employees, we demand greater control over our lives and uh, a bigger say in the structure of their job. I asked you, do you really love your job? And I think many of you have said yes. Some of you have said uh, maybe occasionally it might be otherwise. And uh, all of you, more or less, we are happy to be in this particular novel profession. So these are the different components. We have to try and take care about our family. We talk about our health, which is the top priority. The pandemic has shown that to us. We cannot ignore that. And we have to remind it to our students also that they should give importance to their health. And then we talk about our career, our little bit of dreams that we have in our professional commitment. And then finally, the pressure and all. So globally, if you see the situation globally, I think how is the work-life balance situation across the country and maybe in the... Uh, 
world in general. So according to the latest report last year, which was coming from uh, uh, OECD, if you see, uh, Italy ranks uh, the highest with regard to providing a work-life balance for their labor force. The country getting a score of 9.4 out of 10. And I think uh, apart from Italy, a lot of other Scandinavian countries are there. Like uh, maybe you can talk about the Netherlands, you can talk about maybe uh, Norway and all who are scoring a little bit on the higher side when it comes to work-life balance. So Denmark is also a good country where a lot of people actually love to uh, work because of the good work-life balance score. And I think uh, it is rated as one of the happiest countries to live and work, uh, which is uh, Denmark, so which talks about uh, its work-life balance score. So on that note, I will just try and... Uh, uh, request you for the last uh, portion and I think Norway as I was saying is not lagging behind they are scoring around 8.5 so I will open it up for your uh, little bit of observation and uh, interaction if any or maybe any question so uh, I will think that uh, every successful person will have some kind of a painful story and every painful story hopefully will uh, lead to a successful ending so why not accept the pain and uh, get ready for success today sir told about if you have to be in heaven you have to go through hell and i think there are no shortcut to success that is what uh, you only told me so on that note i will say that uh, yesterday is gone and uh, uh, tomorrow may never come so why not we enjoy life today so when it's dark enough uh, we can see the stars so on that note i will try and uh, thank all of you uh, for your wonderful and active Madhya participation and uh, i will try and uh, share my mail id with all of you dr shiva thank you please mute yourself and uh, I think all the esteemed okay. professors, as we discussed in the morning, our students are going to be the creator of their own destiny. And you just expect us to be mentors as uh, role models, as maybe facilitator in this journey of life. So thank you. And uh, I think uh, it's open to you. And we are right on time because it's uh, 1245, hopefully, and uh, maybe a few minutes for interactions, any kind of observation, thoughts, comments. I am more open to accept all those. So thank you so much, all of you. It was an honor and pleasure to connect with all of you. Over to you, please, uh, if you have anything to share. Sir, you have a very good sir, from our participants. Ki taraf se. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, anything in specific? Yes, uh, I think everybody, Dr. Nagesh said the ball rolling well today in the morning. Sir, your concluding remarks, observation, if any. Hello, sir. Yes, Dr. Nagesh, I was saying uh, you said the ball rolling in the morning uh, with your little bit of experience sharing. So your concluding remarks, observation, if any. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I would say it is like uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful and uh, a session which was you know, comprehensive. I would say and you made us you know uh, to think about, rethink about how skills are so important because it's a life skill and it is a quality of life because we have to balance. So as Rashmi Madam was telling it's like uh, how we balance the uh, uh, we take our life with our you know, students. So that is how we you know, enhance our quality of life. So your uh, role plays were really, really you know, made us to uh, think uh, and also to be active. Uh, so it was really uh, good and informative. And also, uh, you know, we wish to, you know, we look forward uh, for some more sessions uh, from your side. And thank you so much for uh, uh, taking it through a journey of this. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Nagesh. And I think uh, since morning, uh, everybody more or less who are right now here, they were all connected. And it was wonderful to uh, connect with all of you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, Dr. Ganesh is from the industry, sir. And uh, I know you are uh, seen it all in the industry and now in the academic world. Uh, any any observation, comments from your side? Uh, thanks uh, for the industrial experience we can uh, use for this teaching and all these things. Uh, mine is the chemistry, actually. So in the laboratory practicals and all these things, we can use the knowledge, whatever you've got in the industry. Thank you. And uh, your take on the session, I hope I haven't bored you much uh, all throughout. So if you have any comment, any observation, so that we can rectify ourselves something, if we have gone beyond the line, please. Yes, uh, Dr. D'Souza, uh, you are there since morning. Thank you so much uh, for being there still. Uh, the HOD Vijay Kumar sir is there. Yes, Dr. D'Souza, anything from your side? <laughs> So thank you so much, sir. Uh, although it was an uh, online session, uh, I think we were never uh, what uh, disconnected. Uh, it was very engaging, sir. And uh, the activities that you had for us, uh, those were uh, um, those were making us involved uh, in this uh, entire session, sir. Thank you so much for that, sir. And uh, the skills that we already we had those skills, but it was like a, a dusting of the dust. 
uh, it was uh, such an experience sir thank you so much sir for uh, getting us all uh, involved in this it was thank you pleasure, thank sir. you thank you so much for your uh, active participation all of you and uh, i think uh, uh, we have a uh, respected Dr. Shiva Kumar sir also. Thank you sir for getting Arunima Sinaji's name uh, correct. I attended yes. many sessions, online sessions like uh, live skill. And today's session is something unique and different. It is, I enjoyed it. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you sir. You have been there all throughout and uh, I think with your good wishes and blessings uh, hopefully we'll meet again and uh, uh, take it forward uh, on another topic uh, that was there. Thank you very much Dr. Shiv Kumar for joining us. Uh, we have both the uh, professor of the team and the HOD with us, uh, Professor Vijay Kumar and ma'am also, uh, Dr. Bharti. Yes, uh, ma'am, to you first and then to our HOD, uh, Professor Vijay Kumar also. Sorry, sir, it was just last 10 minutes, uh, I, was, uh, I came here now. I could not be able to listen your okay. session. It was 10 to 15 minutes because uh, till that I was very active in yes. your session. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, thanks to you for joining in. Uh, Professor Vijay Kumar was there uh, more or less uh, taking yeah, part yes, and sir. sharing uh, sir's observation. Thank you. Yes, sir. Anyone else, if you have any comment, uh, Dr. Swami has been there very busy all throughout engaging with us. So thank you so much, Dr. Swami, for joining in. And uh, if you have any observation, thoughts, uh, most welcome. Dr. Shuresha, thank you especially for keeping the chat option always uh, spontaneous with your observation, thoughts, and uh, comments and all. Yes, sir. Feel free, please. Sir, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, please go ahead. Bolly. Hello. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Little louder, please. What is the success? Sir? How can I find I am getting a success or not? Uh, uh, sorry, I think I am not getting the audio clear. Please, uh, sir, would you like to share once again? Or you can drop it in the chat box. I will respond uh, so by looking at it. Success, what, what is success? Is success? <laughs> then how can I find I am? Succeed or not? Oh, very wonderful. I think uh, 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 what is success uh, that will vary from uh, uh, each one of us, the definition of success. Very tough question, Sarah has asked. And I think uh, how we define our success uh, that will vary from uh, each one of us, uh, how we look at life and Uzi Sahib say, uh, what is uh, success? So it's very difficult and it cannot be a one size fit all. Success definition is going to be acceptable to uh, maybe Professor Vijay Kumar or maybe the other way around. So I think, sir, had under, uh, asked a very valid question. So, sir, uh, I think uh, uh, you tell me, sir, uh, uh, what exactly you consider to be a success for you. And let's see uh, whether the other professors also think about it or not. Uh, so, what do you think of your success definition? Kya hai? You are in this noble profession. So, when you consider yourself successful? Yes, uh, Dr. Shuresha was uh, having a wonderful thought uh, and uh, sharing about that. Uh, but as I said, uh, it's very difficult to define it uh, in a single term. What is success? It will vary from individual to individual, depending on the context and the situation. So thank you so much for that. Dr. Rekha was all throughout with us. Dr. Padmalata, ma'am, was also there uh, with us all throughout. Thank you, Dr. Shavita, everybody. Thank Professor uh, Surekha, uh, everybody was there. And I think it was wonderful to connect with all of you. And... Uh, since morning you were there, Dr. Ganesh was there. So thank you very much. And I hope please pass on my uh, heartfelt uh, thanks and gratitude to uh, respected coordinators, sir. And uh, and please give your feedback to sir, because uh, I had been invited throughout the country in all the HRDCs. And this was the uh, first time in uh, Mysore University in the online session. So I'm really honored and thankful to find uh, esteemed professors like you all being so interactive. So please convey my regards to respected director, ma'am, also. And uh, that will be wonderful. Yes, ma'am is there on behalf of HRDC. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, and please convey my greetings <laughs> to you, the sir. entire Thank team. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.